welcome back to this week's vlog. Hope you're all well. Um, this week I'm going to talk about things that um, I've sewn that I talked about last week. Loads of things that I haven't sewn. It seems to have been a week of half finished stuff, I'm afraid. Um, but I can show you certainly some works in progress. And I've got some plans, as always, some new plans which have popped up along the way um, to talk about for next week. So first of all, I'll start with what I'm wearing at the moment, which is you probably recognise it by now if you've watched any of my other vlogs. It's yet another McCall's M8240, which is, um, as you can see here, um, it's actually a, a jersey top with uh, with a collar, which I had a I did have a bit of a problem with in the in the first instance, and then um, after my initial toile, um, have now made two and a half dresses and absolutely love it. So the last dress I wore in my last, I think the vlog before last, and this one is. Um, the one which I'd bought the the um, the jersey for this is the, a knit print um, and actually this is what I had in mind I wanted to make it up in um, some kind of interesting pattern jersey saw this one on the Minerva web website and thought actually that looks really really nice so it's a sweater knit it's just made you know a really really lovely lovely dress which I'm so pleased with so um, that's this dress and again it's just the McCall's pattern lengthened with slits at the side and I have another one in the pipeline while well, well, she's right next to me here, to be honest. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show you, but um, I'll try my bit. Oh, here she comes. Here she is. Look, there you go. So you can see um, it's, a, it's a khaki ponte and you know how much I love khaki. Um, this is the collar which I'm working on at the moment. So it just needs to be stitched underneath and round there. Uh, the placket is a little bit, I'm, I'm having a bit of an issue with it. Um, it's got a few little dinks, I'm not quite sure what you call those, like little creases there, which um, I definitely need to be working on. So I'll get those sorted out, maybe unpicked and put back on. But I think that will look really lovely in that green ponte. They are brilliant dresses for just wearing with denim jackets because these collars just sit perfectly over the denim jacket. Um, and then with a pair of pumps or boots, whatever, they're just really lovely, easy throw on dresses. So. I promise I won't make any more of those. Well, not just yet anyway. <laughs> I've run out of fabric to make those, uh, to make any more of those anyway. So I think it's about time I tried a different pattern. Um, the other thing that I was talking about last week was making a pair of ultimate trousers. I'd been to um, the an afternoon tea with the social studio and they, they were selling some of their spring summer fabrics. And amongst them was some gorgeous Bengaline, which is this fabric here with which is like a cotton with a stretch so I decided that those would make the perfect ultimate trousers um I didn't actually buy enough fabric though stupidly because I didn't have my pattern with me and I didn't as you know I'm not great at reading the fabric requirements anyway um it was 1.5 meters and I thought I could get away with 1.2 so I didn't actually buy enough fabric because it has to be cut I think ordinarily I could have got away with 1.2 but because the stretch is on the cross grain um, I could only get two back trousers and one front so I'm waiting for some more to come completely my own fault and so I can complete those in the meantime I've actually made a toile as I do and I think I made it on a Saturday night I obviously had a glass of wine and thought that I would make size 10 for some reason looking at the uh looking at the finished garment measurements or the body measurements the size 10 is a 38 hip which is absolutely nowhere near what i am i'm more like 41 and a half getting on for 42 hip which really means i should have cut out the size 14 anyway i made up the size 10 um and uh they look really lovely this is probably the size i would like to be rather than the size i am but i tried them on and i can get them on but there's no way that I'd be able to get any zip done up. They were skin tight. So out those went. I then, um, because I'd cut the pattern, I know I'm naughty, um, Put I put the pattern back on, sellotaped around it, cut out the 14 and made a pair of shorts because that's all the fabric that I had left. So these are the gorgeous glamorous shorts, which fit absolutely fine. It's, a, it's actually a really nice fit because of the darts. I haven't put the zip in here. I've just sewn the side up so there might be a little bit of jiggery pokery needed with those just to get them to fit perfectly but I really like the shape of those so 
that's that and as soon as the fabric arrives I will make be making some of those up the um the whole I've never used bengaline before so it got me thinking about um different patterns for um stretch trousers because I do need some trousers just something other than jeans obviously um some nice stretch trousers would be great and it led me to discover that style arc actually have loads of different types of stretch trousers they've got just a few of them are the airly which has got pockets the sage which has got looks like it's got some really interesting um style lines as has the beth quite like the look of that one so they're all pull on stretch pants, which I'm quite interested in trying. I haven't decided which ones to make yet, but um, uh, but I did find some Bengaline on um, BST uh, Fabrics website for, it's a really good price, £5.80 a metre. Um, this one's the Mocha and I bought some in Slate just to have a go at making some of those trousers. So I haven't got to worry about a zip, haven't got to match the zip, etc. And they just pull on. I don't know really what they'll turn out like, which is why I thought, well, I'll get some of this fabric. Um, it's obviously a lot thinner than the fabric from the Social Studio, because the Social Studio Bengaline is absolutely beautiful quality. Um, as I say, this is a lot thinner, but it, has, it behaves itself the same way. And um, I think it'll be useful just to have a practice at getting some trousers right because I am fed up of trying trousers and them not fitting so I really want to have a go at twirling them properly um, just to get a really good fit and then I've got the confidence to to have a go with the good stuff. So another garment that I have actually got made this week is the Barra Studio Neela sweatshirt which is a fairly new pattern I think. I'd seen it on the fold line and thought oh that looks really quite comfy cosy but with a bit of a twist, a bit funky like that really like the look of it and then um, Adele from Sofa Serenity was talking about a couple of those I think it was the Fiber Mood Dee and the Neela on her um, channel and I thought actually I have got a few different teddy fabrics so it might be about time I got dug those out got those used up and made myself one of these so this is the first one I've made so it's a bit of a, a working toile I suppose a wearable toile um, and this is it here it's uh, this is the cropped version it's really it's obviously really lovely and soft and cozy so it's got the the quarter zip um, high neck and um, what's a bit different about it is that it's got um, these around the side so it's got um, sort of the the grommets and then the elastic with the, uh, the cord stoppers. I'm not explaining this very well because I can't remember what any of these are items are called, but you know what I mean. So that kind of elasticizes the bottom um, and you can kind of pull it up or push it down or whatever. As I say, this is this is the cropped length, which I think is, is really quite nice where it sits. It's just a comfy length. Um, and uh, no, I'm really, I'm really quite pleased with that. I made a size small on the shoulders which I'm really glad I did because it's a really, really dropped sleeve, as you can see. So because I have got very small, narrow shoulders, so I always tend to make a smaller um, size up here. And then sometimes I'll blend out a little bit further down. This one then I blended into a medium. So the bottom half is a medium and the top half is, um, is a small. And that, I think, fits really, really nicely. So, so pleased with this. I've cut out another one. I had from Rainbow Fabrics, um, I bought a remnant of this gorgeous, I think it was called Ginger Borg, they called it. So beautiful, lovely. I love this colour, sort of like a coppery colour. Um, well, it's, yeah, it is like a gingery colour. Um, you can't really tell so much there. It's warmer than it's looking on camera. It's a bit darker. That's more like it over there. That's the colour. And um, I think I've got 2.4 metres of this. So I have cut another Neela sweater out of this. But I didn't want um, I didn't want to waste the rest of the fabric. Originally, I'd bought it to, to make um, a teddy bear coat with. But as we're getting warmer and I never got round to making it, um, I kind of thought, well, I need to need to make something that's more practical for me. I have made the Fibre Mood Loose cardigan jacket 
quite a few times and I absolutely love it. I've made a quilted version um, and I've made one out of like a, a stretchy jersey wool and I wear them all the time, just throw them on. So um, I think, well, what I've done is I've cut another one of those out and I think I'm gonna make it like a cropped one with shorter sleeves. Um, just because, in fact, I keep fetching bits out. That's a bit of the barrow sweater. <laughs> so I have cut, I'll, I'll put in a picture of the fibre mood loose so you can see. Um, but those two are very much a work in progress. So hopefully once I change my overlocker thread from green to orange, I will get making those up this week. I don't know if anyone else is the same as me, but I do literally plan my projects around my overlocker thread, which is a bit sad really, isn't it? But um, I had green on, so I just want to finish um, my friend over here at the khaki one and then when I've done that I'll move on to to the orange so the, this one and that dress have been made up of with uh, with the green thread so we'll be moving on to those ones very soon so um moving on to uh what my friend here is wearing this is one another God, i've got to stop saying one of my favorite patterns this is another fab pattern it's the fiber mood fricker um sweatshirt and i've made this it's actually a hoodie sweatshirt but i have made quite a few of them and for this one i thought i'd mix it up a bit and um and i've put like a cowl neck instead of um instead of a hoodie so a couple of the other ones i've made are this one which i just wear all the time um, what I like about them is it's got a separate um, panel sort of thing around the bottom, as you can see. And then this has got the grommets as well. And then you can thread it with, with it, whatever you want. I've put ribbon in this one. I've also got some, some velvet ribbon in this one. And this one's got a hoodie, which is this hood is just lined with um, just a grey cotton jersey. This was like a jacquard jersey that I'd found on... Um, actually a local market stall that was that used to sell fabrics near me unfortunately he's closed down now which is a shame um, but I've got that one from him and then my all-time favorite fricker hoodie which I made a couple of years ago in this sunset French terry from Flamingo Fabrics this I'm surprised it's still going to be honest because it's literally wash and wear wash and wear I absolutely love it um, it's so comfortable. This one's just got a plain cord in the bottom, but uh, I just, what I really like about it is it's, it's kind of baggy, but it's still got a nice shape. The sleeves um, are quite slightly balloony, so they've got some width to them, and then they could just come down into this lovely cuff. It's just a really flattering shape, and it's literally so easy to make, so I do tend to throw those together. Quite often, if I've got some nice jersey, I think oh, I'll just make myself another fibre mood fricker. But they get worn all the time, so you know that's absolutely it's a brilliant, brilliant pattern. I would highly recommend that. Um, and while we're on the subject of fibre mood, which I love, um, the new fibre mood twenty two magazine has come out this week, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's Sorry, just got disturbed there by the doorbell. I was just talking about the, the latest Fibre Mood 22 um, releases, which are absolutely beautiful. There's loads on there that I would like to make, but I've kind of narrowed it down, to be honest, because as you know, I have a very long list of things that I'd like to make. Um, the first one is the Harper um, blouse, which I just think is absolutely beautiful. It's, um, it's a plain fairly plain bodice and then it has this gorgeous uh pleated gathered whatever you want to call it um top yoke which just goes down into the arms um which just adds a, a lovely lovely interest i think you could play about with um stripes you could do all sorts of different things with that but to be honest i think i'll just make it in a plain white poplin or some sort of cotton just because I think I'd like to make the first one to be quite architectural and shirt like and I think also it's it's often good especially if you're making something for the first time just to use a fabric which behaves itself really quite well like a crisp cotton um, it will look equally gorgeous in something drapey as well but for the first one I think I'm going to try and make that in white cotton I'd also really like to make it longer it does say you can make it in whatever length you want just down into a dress especially if you had it in a drapey fabric with uh, into a dress would just I think just be gorgeous so 
that's the first one that I want to make. It really reminds me of um, this top. This is doesn't look very much here, but it's the Feel Free Raglan by Sewera, I think it's called. And it's a raglan top, but it's kind of got a bit of a bit of sleeve detail. So it's a pleated sleeve. Um, and I just love that because again, it's something casual. It's only just a, a cotton jersey, gray cotton jersey, but it's just got that added bit of interest on the sleeves. I got that pattern. I think you can get it from Makerist, which is um, a site where you can buy various different style um, sewing patterns. I always like to dip in and out of there and just see if there's anything new, anything a bit different, which that was. So that's been a really nice make. So I'm looking forward to making the Harper. Oh, that I forgot to say actually about the Harper. Um, Fibre Mood do Instagram live sew alongs and they've got one for the Harper um, top. Um, I think it's end of February, beginning of March. They do a series of them. If you have a look on the Fibre Mood website, it tells you. And so the Harper um, top is five euros um, up until then. So they put, they tend to put their, um, the ones that they're going to do on the Instagram live, they tend to do them um, on offer until the Instagram live. So that's worth checking out. If you're interested in the Harper, it's five euros at the minute. Um, the next one in there, oh, is the Eve dress. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, all pleated. It's quite a boho sort of loose flowing dress, but those pleats are absolutely stunning at the front and the back. It's a little bit like a sort of a goddess type dress, I think. And I have this fabric out of my stash, which I reckon will be absolutely gorgeous in that. Don't ask me what it is. I have no idea. It's like um, it's like a matte silk. Obviously, it's not silk. It's polyester. You can see it catches the light beautifully. It's completely, completely matte on the one on the reverse. But this has got like a copper, a copper sheen, and I think that pleated up in a dress like that would be absolutely beautiful. So that I think obviously I won't make it just yet, but nearer to the summer. Um, I may well have a go at making that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, another one I loved was the amber, which is similar to this top with a collar. I think it's like a jersey, but it's sleeveless. So it's almost like a tunic. Um, that looks really quite funky. And um, the Kaya, K-A-Y-A, it's a, it's a quilted pinafore style dress, which I love. I'm not sure whether I would actually wear that though. So whether I make that or not, I don't know. There's a quilted short version and then there's a long version. I'm not sure what that fabric's made up in, maybe like a canvas or something. It's almost, yeah, like I say, like a bit of a pinafore V-neck, v V-back, just to throw on over over tops and things. I, I, I really love the shape of that. So maybe, um, it's a maybe, a definite maybe. Um, there's loads in in this um, in this month's Fiber Mood magazine to to keep us all going. That's for sure. So thank you so much for joining me, and again thank you so much also for all the likes, comments, and subscribes. It's really lovely to uh, to interact with you all. I'm really enjoying that. Um, so hopefully you will join me again next week to see some of the things that I've made up and um, undoubtedly there will be more plans and thoughts and ideas. So until then, take care. Bye bye.